Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this session is FTTX that is fiber to the X. Do remember this X is the general notation. The question may be like this, draw the generalized diagram of FTTX and explain its functioning as well as list out its different categories. So as I said, X is the uh, general notation. X can be home that in that case, we will use the notation FTTH or X can be premises. So it is FTTP and so on. We'll discuss all the things in detail. If the question is related to uh, like uh, draw and explain the diagram, block diagram of FTTH or FTTP that is fiber to uh, home or fiber to premises, the diagram and explanation remains same because as I said, X is the generalized notation. So this is the diagram of FTTX that is fiber to the X. X can be home, premises, then antennas and so on. Now, think like this, it is like a main road and then that main road is divided into smaller roads to connect different places. So it consists of the central office, which is the major part. This central office coordinates all the things. This central office consists of optical line terminal that is OLT. As the name indicates, it is a terminal. So when you are transmitting the signal through the fiber optic cable, then usually input signal is electrical. It needs to convert it into optical signal. Then OLTs are used as well as at the receiver end, at the end user, again, optical signal should be converted into electrical signal. So this functioning is done by OLT, optical line terminal, which is in, in the central office. Next is optical distribution network, that is ODN. As the name indicates, there is a main fiber optic cable as if it is a main road and then that main road is divided it, it into smaller roads. Likewise, there is a main fiber optic connection and then uh, to different things, to multi-users, the connection is given. So this is the distribution network which consists of fiber cables. So this optical distribution network consists of the physical medium through which the signal passes. So in this case, it consists of the fiber cables. Now, again, there are two subcategories. One is passive optical network, that is PON, passive optical network, and another is AON, that is active optical network. In case of passive optical network, to give the connection from main fiber to different users, multi-users, splitters are used, optical splitters are used. So as the name indicates, the main data is split into different uh, uh, things and then it is applied to the different, uh, to the multi-users. Then in case of active nodes, active nodes made make use of the power. In case of passive nodes, PON, passive optical networks, there is no inbuilt power. In AON, active optical uh, network or nodes, there is an inbuilt power. It consists of optical switches. So these optical switches are give connections to uh, multi-users from the main fiber optic cable. So this uh, ODN, that is optical distribution network, consists of fiber cables, splitters and active nodes. Then end user, as the name indicates, very simple. This is the end user, uh, which, which the main task in, in this case is to convert the incoming optical signal into the electrical signal. It has optical network unit that is ONU. As I said, the function is to convert optical signal into electrical signal. Now, this is about the generalized diagram and working of FTTX network. Now, different categories or different types. It's very simple. As I said, X is the general notation. It can be FTTH, that is fiber to home or fiber to premises. Very simple, the fiber is directly connected uh, to uh, the home or to the premises of our building. Next is FTTB, that is fiber to the apartment complex. In the apartment complex, there may be different buildings. So FTTB indicates fiber connection is given to the apartment complex. Then inside the building, copper cabling is used to give the connection to different homes. Next is FTTC. So in this case, there is one box, optical box. That box may be uh, near to the home or it may be on the street. So fiber is connected to that box. It is fiber to the cabinet. So fiber is uh, connected to the box, which is close to the home. As I said, it might be on the street. 
then box that uh, fiber optical box to the home connection is done by using copper cabling next is FTTN that is fiber to the node so the fiber is connected to large central point this this you can well treat it like this fiber to the neighborhood so fiber connection is given to the larger central point that central point covers the entire neighborhood area then in that neighborhood different buildings different homes are there again the connection from that node from this node to different uh, homes are uh, done by using the copper cabling then FTTD that is fiber to the desk this dish stands for desks so direct connection is given to the cabinet or to the desk it is usually preferred in case of offices then FTTA fiber to the antenna it is used it is useful for the 5G as far as 5G connections in mobile is concerned so in this case uh, the fiber is connected to the mobile tower that handles different mobile signals then FTTR that is fiber to the room so every room gets a direct fiber optic uh, connections inside the building so every room of a building is directly connected to the fiber so this is about the different categories of FTTX now advantages of FTTX the major advantages are since we are using a fiber optic cable naturally the rate of data transmission is faster so we can experience faster internet connection which is especially used for downloading or video streaming next more capacity simple reason uh, due to use of fiber optic cable which has a higher bandwidth the capacity gets improved that means many users can be connected at a time and there won't be a major effect as far as the speed of the net is concerned then reliable connectivity because of the use of fiber optic cable and we know that this is not the electrical signal which is passing through the cable so because of which there is less interference uh, of the environmental conditions as well as there won't be any electromagnetic interference and so on then low latency as we discussed in earlier videos latency is the time required to transfer the signal from transmitter end to the receiver end since through the fiber optic cable the data transmission takes place with the speed of light so it is the fastest connection that means low latency is there then easy upgradation even for the uh, incoming future technology without replacing the fiber optic cable by making changes in the uh, end user equipments we can easily upgrade the system and this system makes use of less power the next part is comparison between different categories of FTTX. So I have uh, summarized few important parameters that is few important features to compare all the things. We already discussed FTTH or F FTTH stands for fiber to home or FTTP that is fiber to premises. Second uh, is second category is FTTB fiber to building then fiber to cabinet then fiber to the node. So first parameter, first feature is fiber ends at. And naturally, if it is FTTB, the uh, final connection, end connection of the fiber is at home or it, if it is FTTP, it is at the premises. Then in case of FTTB, the end connection is at the building, it is not at the home. Then in case of cabinet, FTTC, we know that there is a, a central uh, cabinet which is used uh, to or distribute the data later on to different homes so it ends at the box next FTTN that is fiber to the neighborhood in this case there is a central point which handles the entire neighborhood area so fiber ends at the central point which is covering the entire uh, neighboring area then a uh, final connection final connection of the fiber is directly in case of FTTP or FT, FTTH or FTTP the final connection up to the end user is direct fiber optic cable in this case FTTB we know that the fiber is up to the building from the building uh, the different homes are connected by using the norm normal cabling so existing wiring uh, is done to provide the final connection at the end user then in case of FTTC copper lines are used and in this case FTTN again copper lines are used for the final connection then speed in this case it is fastest FTTB is fast but it is slower compared to FTTH or FTTP 
then FTTC is having a medium speed and FTTN since it is it is covering the entire neighboring area it is the slowest then latency in case of FTTH or FTTH FTTP it is lowest then for FTTP it is low this is medium and uh, this is medium and latency is high in case of FTTN then cost FTTH is more expensive naturally because we have to provide a separate cable to each uh, home of the building. So it is most expensive. FTTP is expensive. I mean less expensive than FTTH or FTTP. Then FTTC medium cost and FTTN less ex or least expensive. Complexity this one is more complex because different uh, number of fiber optic cables are required to connect every home. Then this is having medium complexity, FTTC is having less complexity and the minimum complexity that you are getting in case of FTTN network. So this is about the comparison between different categories of FTTX. So dear students, that's it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.